Bonjour, darling! Today I come back to you with the tag about NaNoWriMo. I saw Moon Petri do this uh, yesterday and I thought it was a really interesting tag. So I'll be answering the questions and link the original video and Moon Petri's video in the description box along with all the questions. One. How many times have you done NaNoWriMo? I've been on the website since 2014 and I have participated five times in total with my longest streak being four. Two, how did you first find out about NaNoWriMo? I think it was on Twitter, I saw some people talk about it there and I was really interested, I thought the concept was amazing and it was a challenge I wanted to try. <sighs> I have failed all the times except for this year where I reached my 50k goal on the 13th. Um, I was a nano cheater, I was a rebel. I used NaNoWriMo this year to revise my novel, so it was a little bit easier for me because I had words already on the page and I just had to edit, add scenes, and do my thing. Three, what was the name of the first book you attempted with Nano? Let me check on my computer, it's right on there. The first title, it was actually um, an attempt on this in the same universe that I'm writing about right now. It was called La Fille de la Lune Bleue. The Daughter of the Blue Moon, it was in the same universe, just that weren't the same characters and the story was different, but it was in the same universe, the universe of my actual novel and of my tabletop RPG, Chronique de la Lune Bleue, Chronicles of the Blue Moon. Four, give us a one sentence Summary of what you're writing this year. That will be complicated. I'm trying to think. Uh, that will not be easy. To summarize it in one word, in one sentence. In a country called Contatoria, humans have the ability to shape and transform the world around them as long as they understand the science behind it. They have seven taboos that restrict them. Everything goes fine until one day someone breaks the first and most deadly taboo. So it was three sentences I lost, but I couldn't do better. <laughs> One sentence is really complicated. Five, what's the best writing advice you've ever been given? It was an advice from Alexa Don and Jenna Moresi. Uh, it was to rest between drafts, especially after the first draft, because you need to refill your well, your creative well. You can write on something else, you can take time to read books, do art, go out, but really, resting between drafts helps you to reread them with a fresh mind so you can have more ideas and you'll never stop to think about it uh, sometimes really often before I go to sleep for example I imagine oh my god I could add this scene and oh my god I could add a chapter there since I finished my revisions on the 15th I've been writing short stories, I've been writing my novel's Bible because I hope to do a series with that. Uh, so I've not stopped writing. I still 
update the NaNoWriMo site. I just changed project in between uh, after I finished, I had finished the first. But really, resting after a draft is of the is one of the best advices I've ever received. Six. Did you ever take a year off NaNoWriMo and why? And yes, I think. Oh my, does it say? In 2015, I didn't try NaNoWriMo because I had a lot of trouble with, with my anxiety and I knew the challenge would be too overwhelming to do it. Uh, this year I had my doubts, but now I've gotten help, I have a psychiatrist, I have a treatment, so it actually went pretty smoothly. 7. What's your biggest inspiration when figuring out what to write? Books I read are really important for me, movies too, and the people around me, the work I do on the universe in my TTRPG, my players are a big source of inspiration, they are very creative people and together we are, we are creating a story, an amazing story that helps me learn more about my, my world, the universe I created. So yeah, the people around me, books and movies. Number eight. Read us the first sentence of one of your novels. I've only ever written one novel. Uh, I've written a lot of short stories and created a lot of game TTRPGs, but I've only written one finished-ish level novel. I will try, since I write in French, to translate you the first sentence. In the shadows, the feather scratches the big parchment without ever stopping. So yeah, that's the first sentence of the prologue of my novel, Chronicles of the Blue Moon, First Taboo. And finally, question nine, why do you love writing? There are two reasons for that. One is completely egotistical and selfish and the other one is not. First, I write because it makes me feel better. I write because when I do, I can forget all of my problems, my diseases and all of my struggles and I feel better. I have this need to create things that I can stop. So it's my selfish reason. And the other reason is also because since I've been sick for like more than half of my life, I've realized that reading helps me a lot and it got me through really tough times and I hope that one day one of my books, one of my short stories or anything like that will help people feel better like books did for me. So yeah, that was the last question. As I said, the questions Moon Petri's video and the original video will be linked in the description box. If you like my content, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of any of my new content. You can also follow me on social media, all linked in the description box. So, good luck with NaNoWriMo. Don't be ashamed if you don't do it or if you don't succeed. What uh, having a few words is better than having none. And as always, au revoir, darling!